Her customers weren't just patrons, they were pilgrims on a delicious journey. Each bite was a revelation, a portal to Amelia's boundless imagination. A shy librarian savored a bookworm brownie, humming with the scent of ancient parchment. A grumpy postman devoured a cloud cake, melting into an almost smile as wisps of whipped cream kissed his beard. Children, wide-eyed with wonder, chased after ginger cookie squirrels scampering across shelves. One day, a man with eyes as blue as the Aegean Sea and a smile as warm as honey bread entered the bakery. His name was Oliver, a world-renowned travel writer seeking a taste of something other than exotic landscapes. As he bit into Amelia S. Stargazer cupcakes. But fame was T. Amelia S. Dream. It dimmed her spark, replacing whispered fairy tales with the clanging of coins and the weight of expectations. The joy of creation became a chore, her magic touch tainted by the pressure to feed the insatiable desire for the extraordinary. One rainy afternoon, Oliver found Amelia weeping amongst flowered, dusted bowls. The magic had gone, replaced by the hollowness of a burnt-out star. He didn't he need words, he just baked alongside her. Together, they needed a new dream, one not of fame, but of rediscovering the simple joy of creation. Oliver became Amelia S. News, his tales igniting her culinary imagination. She baked the Great Barrier Reef in sugar and coral meringue, whipped up the Sahara in saffron sandcake, and sculpted Mount Everest in dark chocolate, dusted with snow-kissed meringue. Each creation a miniature masterpiece, a love letter to a faraway land. Their collaboration turned the bakery into a culinary mecca. People came from afar, not just for the taste, but for the experience. They embarked on edible journeys, their palates passports to distant shores. Amelia and Oliver, the pastry poet and the prose peddler, became the heart and soul of this delectable destination. Amelia wasn't tea just a baker, she was a culinary dreamer. Her mind wasn't tea confined by ovens and ingredients, it danced with fantastical flavors, edible landscapes, and stories baked into every crumb. While others followed recipes, Amelia followed whims, conjuring up desserts that defied expectations and tasted like whispered fairy tales. Her tiny bakery, perched on a cobblestone street, was a testament to her whimsical genius. It wasn't tea grand, but its windows whispered promises of the extraordinary. Sugar butterflies fluttered across frosted panes, gingerbread houses adorned the roof, and the air was perfumed with a kaleidoscope of spices. Inside, the shelves groaned under the weight of dreams made edible. 